Yo, 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 what's the deal, what's the deal, it's your boy who is in though, we back talking sports, so, Joel B is signing the um, extension, 3 year, 193 million, with the Philadelphia 76ers, per Shams, um, as you know, Woj, he uh, retired, he probably would have had this first, but, yeah, so, apparently, you know what I'm saying? Joel and B to stand put. Um, we'll see what happens with him and everything. Uh, you know what I'm saying? This is kind of big news as probably a lot of people thought that he could be, you know what I'm saying, going somewhere else or whatever. But then the Paul George deal happened and everything. It seems like he's committed to the Philadelphia 76ers. So, with all that being said, really doesn't matter he gotta show me something in the playoffs and at least get to the conference finals like y'all love to give him so many excuses for his injuries and everything like that but y'all don't want to put blame on him when he is healthy and he don't show up and he don't get it done y'all just for y'all just forgot about him losing to Tatum when in game six when Tatum was having one of the worst games you can have as a super, as a star as a superstar <clears throat> and walked him down with four straight threes in the fourth in the fourth quarter to win him that game then game seven dropped 51 and 13 rebounds and six assists on his head hunting Joel Embiid but nobody wants to remember that they want to forget that that's why MVPs and all that shit is cool, but when you get to the playoffs, that's when you, that's when you gotta show up. That's why MVPs is it's all right for me, but that don't define how great you are as a player to me. The postseason, getting to the finals, winning championships, that's what really matters. Because James Harden got an MVP, I don't think he's better than Dwayne Wade. And that's just me. I would not take James Harden over Dwayne Wade in the playoffs. And he has an MVP and Dwayne Wade doesn't. So, shout out to Joel Embiid uh, for signing this extension. I still don't, I don't have faith in Philly. Just don't. They have to show me. Joel Embiid got to show me. Paul George still has to show me. And it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is something that uh, you could, I don't think would have happened without the Paul George signing. Because they lost a lot of players. Their bench is depleted. And honestly, they they needed somebody else. So we'll see what they do with their bench and everything. But, hey, you never know, man. But yeah, Joel Embiid. Signing a three-year, $193, uh, $193 million um, deal extension. Stay with Philly. So, we'll see what happens, man. Because if, if he don't make it to the conference finals this year, it's just not, it's just not happening. It's not going to happen. And I don't, think they, I don't think they can beat Boston. I think New York is better than them. I would say probably the third or fourth best team in the East. I think Boston and New York is better than them. But that's just me. So y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Was this the right move for Joel B, or should he have not signed the extension yet? Because, I mean, we don't know. But this has been Hood Hendo with another video. Man, like, share, subscribe. Subscribe to my other channel, Real Hendo. And I appreciate everybody, man. This has been Hood Hendo. I'm out, man. Peace.